Welcome back to Tech Yesterday's Brand is coming back to you guys today with an unboxing and review of a Yamakasi DPS 270 monitor. Now, this is the SE edition, so it's a new one. It, it um, this is so I'm just going to show you guys. This is how it comes. Like if you order this product, it's just pretty much the box with a little bit of bubble wrap on it. Uh, I do believe it's insufficient packaging, but uh, as you know, as you guys know, they are shipping this internationally, so the cost for them to ship internationally would be a lot of money. So um, honestly, I would, if you guys are nervous about getting a product that could be damaged, then I do not recommend buying one of these. But if you guys want to take a gamble, then I can recommend buying one. As I got this for about three hundred and twenty dollars uh, after shipping. And it was, um, I had to pay about $15 import duties. So maybe if you ask them to do you a favor, they can put mark it down to $100, I don't know. But basically when you buy one of these monitors, keep in mind that it's pretty much a gamble because if the monitor comes damaged um, and you know you open up a PayPal dispute or whatever, you still have to pay to ship this back to Korea. So I mean, it's, I'm guessing it's gonna be about $150 to ship it back depending on which country you live in, uh, since its shipping weight is eight kilo. So um, depending on where you live, yeah, it's pretty much a gamble because if you're gonna pay $150 to ship it back, that's just money money that's gonna be lost. So anyway, here's the actual monitor itself. I'm gonna get it out of the box for you guys, and then we're gonna see what we get with the monitor in the box. So um, just bear with me while I man, man rape this. Okay, so we get that off. You guys can see a side of Tech Yes City that you've never seen before. So we'll get all that wrapping off, and that's that. So as soon as you unbox the accessories, this is what it comes with first when you first unbox it. You get some Korean manual, which um, is all in Korean. So you're not really gonna need that. Uh, you get a DVI-D cable, which is actually pretty cool. It looks like one and a half meters. Uh, you get the AC adapter cable. And it also they also include a adapter for your country, which is actually really cool. I like that. Uh, the seller is paying a little bit of attention to detail here. Uh, this is, and this is the power brick here. So that's actually pretty heavy. My hand's about 20 centimeters, so I'm guessing this is about 16 centimeters by six centimeters by three centimeters. So it's a pretty large power brick and that's what you get with the accessories. Let's move on now to the monitor itself. Okay, so here's the monitor itself. As you can see here, it actually comes packaged really um, intelligently. I guess that's the word to say it. Uh, so Yamakaze do deserve good props for their packaging. As you can see here, the foam's around the edges of the screen and basically when impact comes into the box, it's gonna hit onto the side of the panel, not the actual panel itself. So I really like it. Yamakaze do deserve kudos for really uh, good packaging. I don't see this thing really getting damaged in packaging. So I guess that's a saving grace for the seller who didn't, who just put bubble wrap over the box, but um, it comes really well packaged. And as soon as you take it off, you're pretty much, you can be confident that your monitor is not going to get damaged unless it gets really abused in post. So as soon as you take that side off, you do get the stand as well with the monitor. So I will be setting this up for you guys now, but okay, so here's the panel itself set up. So if uh, we look at this, it actually looks like a tempered glass model. I'm not actually too sure. They did say it was a, it had an anti-glare coating on it, but as you can see, it is very reflective. Uh, for me, I don't really care. It's a 27 inch IPS. I'm gonna set it up and put it side by side the Samsung now. So we're gonna compare them uh, side by side and see a TN panel versus an IPS panel side by side for you guys. Uh, also things about this panel is it's AHIPS. Now, when I went to the store, I did manage to see a PLS and an AHIPS. And in my opinion, I thought the AHIPS looked a little bit better. I don't know why, but that was just my opinion. Uh, for something for you guys, if you are thinking about buying a PLS versus an AHIPS, uh, go check them out and see which one you like better. Now, this one is 16 by 9, so it's a 1440p monitor, which is, I believe, 1440 times 2560 for the resolution, and it's a 27-inch monitor. So it's quite a big monitor. It's quite. A, I'll show you guys a size comparison soon, and I'll turn it on for you guys. Uh, and it's also LED backlit as well. So now, one thing to mention about these monitors is they um, they only have a DVI-D connection on them. So if we look at the back, there's a DVI-D connection on the back here. 
and that's all you get so we'll turn that around for you guys here so just so you can see uh, so there's a DVI-D connection here and a power connection. That's all you get. So they are cost cutting and it is pretty effective. I like it how they're doing smart cost, cost, uh, cost cutting like this. And ultimately the panel feels actually really well built. I'm going to say for a Korean panel it feels actually pretty damn solid for an eBay special. Uh, I can see why people are snapping these up. But anyway, let's get over to the actual test itself and see how the monitor looks. And I'll show you guys it versus the Samsung TN panel. Okay, so here's the monitor set up on my desk now. Now, this monitor just looks amazing. It does look really good. The colors are really accurate. Um, what else can I say? The, the brightness is pretty good. I thought the brightness on my Samsung was a little bit brighter, but I'll try and set them both up and show you guys directly. Uh, what else can I say is that the resolution and the size is just so much bigger, but uh, something about this monitor is it's just, it's got no on-screen display. It's pretty much the DVI-D plugged straight into the monitor and the graphics card does all the, does all the work. Uh, there is a brightness setting down the bottom corner here, on the bottom right corner, and that'll allow you to adjust the brightness manually. Uh, but that's about it in terms of controls on this monitor. So uh, you can see here, this is the max brightness. So it actually does look really good. I do think this monitor is really good for uh, $300. So I paid actually $320 and $15 import duties and whatnot. So it ended up being about... Um, I guess $335. So there is actually, there's fortunately there's no dead or stuck pixels for me. So I can recommend this seller a lot. I mean, he's shipping the monitors out and they look really, really, really damn good. So uh, I'll try overclocking this thing and I'll try checking some other settings, but there appears when I, I started, I started it up now, but uh, you can definitely like, I can definitely notice the difference between um, 60 hertz and 120 hertz, but something this monitor is doing at the moment is just reverting back to 59 hertz all the time. I'll have to look into that uh, as I want my monitor running at goddamn 60 hertz. So if you can see there, I changed it and it just changes itself back to 59 hertz for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, I'll look into that and get that fixed. But honestly, the monitor is one hell of a monitor. It looks good. And let's do a size comparison to my 23 inch Samsung. And it looks like, honestly, it looks like they share the exact same uh, coat of gloss. This is actually a glossy monitor. It's not a matte monitor. So for people who are wondering, this is more of a gloss type monitor. And actually the gloss is really good. I can say that. I'll try restarting it. Uh, there, I thought there was just a slight bit of backlight ble bleeding, but nothing much. And also something else to note was there looks like there's a web camera uh, sort of slot built out there. So it looks like they are using uh, Mac maybe copying just straight up using the same manufacturer as Apple's using so you see the backlight there. There's a little bit of bleed on the left side and the reflections are pretty um, They're actually probably worse than my Samsung maybe so uh, if you guys are looking for a matte monitor Then you might not want to buy this monitor before we move on to the comparison I forgot to say that this the panel it's uh, the actual stand itself is not height adjustable or does not have any swivel adjustment in it. So it's just the panel sits on the stand and that's it. Also this panel as well has 10 bit color as well. Something that uh, is not really written on the display. So that's what's written in the description. Obviously the colors do look gorgeous. The actual monitor does look amazing. So uh, let's move on with the comparison, sorry. Okay, so here's the monitors side by side. Now, something about the Yamakaze is that it also is touted to have less input lag than other monitors since it doesn't have that own on-screen display uh, built in. I don't really know, I don't have the equipment to test that, but um, I will be playing games on this in the next few weeks. And I got this monitor mainly because a lot of people were telling me that they were really good. And also that, you know, I can test now my tests that I'm gonna do, my upcoming tests, I can test 1440p for you guys. Uh, also, yeah, I mean, look, I'm going to say that these monitors, this monitor looks fan freaking tastic It does look really good. I can already notice the difference between the two displays, even though it probably won't really show on this video. Um, but the definitely the colors and the accuracy looks a lot better than the TN panel. Uh, even though the resolution, of course the resolution is better, but the screen's bigger as well, but uh, so that's something to take into consideration. So the resolution, technically the pixel count per inch should be roughly similar, I guess. Uh, the size is a lot bigger. The 27 inch is a lot bigger. 
than the 23 inch um, and you know the 23 inch is a bit closer to the monitor uh, it just looks amazing so I mean if I change this over to the desktop I mean maybe you can maybe you can possibly see it on the camera we'll have a look here and maybe show you guys uh, I'll have a look at that one then we'll look at this one and we'll change the desktop over so the uh, interesting to note the film on the actual panels itself looks exactly the same like <laughs> there doesn't look like there's any difference so it's actually pretty funny um, yeah so I think they're using the exact same uh, film which is pretty funny so anyway uh, I mean yeah it just pretty much all in all for $300 it's a fantastic buy uh, maybe if you live in a country where your customs is pretty expensive you may wish to ask the seller for a favor if he can mark it down on customs for you guys but I'm very impressed with this monitor there's no dead pixels there's no stuck pixels uh, the guy's name is green hyphen sum so his name's green sum he's an eBay seller I'll actually put the link to this monitor in the description because it's pretty damn impressive so far the only thing as you guys know that I can't test with this monitor is the actual durability of it how long will this monitor last I do not know so uh, I will update this after a year and let you know if it's still working or not but I mean for now I'm I am really really impressed uh, lately I've been buying some impressive products and this is one of them so if you guys have any questions about this monitor please ask in the comments below or the description below and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can I can thoroughly recommend buying one of these things if you want to take a gamble keep in mind that I'm one of the lucky ones who got one with absolutely no stuck or dead pixels and yeah so <laughs> I mean I'm grateful for that uh, so it is it is a gamble and keep in mind that if you do get a busted monitor it's probably going to be a bit of trouble for you guys guys but uh, honestly in japan there was one uh, there was the dell 231 uh, 2713 u i think hm and that was about 500 dollars. so uh if anyone has this monitor please let us know in the comments section below how it is uh, but this monitor looks freaking gorgeous i mean i'm in really damn impressed with this monitor this is a 1080p background too i'll be updating to a 1440p background and I will be playing some games for you guys. It just looks friggin' fantastic. So uh, Green Sum gets a big thumbs up. And yeah, I'm gonna be testing this thing with games. Um, so, I mean, maybe I can test the input lag a little bit if I have it. No, I wanna do a test where I can maybe load up both things on both screens. Uh, if I duplicate the displays, it actually doesn't work at the moment um, since it is, uh, since it is what? How would you say? One's 1440p and one's 1080p. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, sort of review slash test of the Yamakaze. And I just want to keep talking about it because I'm really damn impressed. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. And I'll be coming back to you guys soon with a lot more stuff. So let's have a look what we've got here. She has a sneak preview. We have a baby toy there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we've got a cooler, Zalman cooler. We have a Sith Absolus 3. So remember that water cooler that died? I did get an RMA on it. So they sent me a new cooler. So Sith has amazing uh, customer service, I will say that. Uh, we've got an FX 8320, which we're going to unbox very soon. The motherboard, I've already done the unboxing for you guys. And we've got a headphone shootout, something that I've, I'm going to fulfill promises this year. And that's one of the promises I've going to do is that I'm going to have a headphone shootout, a budget headphone shootout, and I'm going to test all these headphones and whichever one's really good, I'm going to do an unboxing and review for it. If they're shit, I'm not going to unbox them and review it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please get a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask me, and if you haven't already, subscribe around to Tech Guest City, where I'll be coming back to you guys soon, and also get the review done of this case very soon, the Aero Cool Strike X. There it is in the flesh. I'll give you guys a sneak preview of it. Here it is here. It's actually really impressive as well. So there it is there. Oh yeah. Anyway guys, peace out for now. Bye.